Well, Susie, here we are, another year of Witches' Night Out. It hardly seems like it's been a year already. No, and it's, it's sold out this year, and it's just amazing how we have grown. And, and it's just amazing all the women that have come from all over. Six years here. This is the sixth anniversary of this, and we're going to make it another six years, hopefully. Well, I'm Jan Quillman from the Joliet City Council, and this is Susie Stockwell. From Joliet Junior College. And we're here again, they trusted us again to this wonderful event. Now all the money goes to Stepping Stones, Guardian Angel Home, Habitat for Humanity, and... Lambs Fold. All very important. Very important. It's women helping women. And that's what this is about today, is women helping women. Us helping the needy and giving back to our society and giving back to our community to help others that are in need. Absolutely, and sometimes women get caught up and they don't want to help each other. But you know what? We can never advance unless women help okay. boost your sister up. So, girls, let's all have a good time tonight and do what you have to do to help each other. And as far as tonight, let it all let loose and just pate. <laughs> Party on! Well, I am here with Sol, and Sol is one of the committee members, very hardworking, and uh, to pull this off is really, really hard. The committee members do such a great job, and they deserve so much deserved recognition. Um, they work endlessly. They have meetings once a week for up to six months, and uh, the, the, the setup inside is all done by the committee members, which are volunteer. Sol, why don't you explain how setting up Witches Night Out and having it all come together the things that, you, that the committee members go through. Oh, you're talking about about six months straight of work. So once we're done with the Witches Night Out, a few months after we start planning the next. So there's barely any break. Um, and uh, I've been with uh, the committee from the beginning. Um, and you know, it's not as hard as people would imagine. It's a great group of women, super hardworking, and you give the time you have, that's the truth of it. Uh, sometimes you can't make the meetings, um, you know, we all have little ones or, or big ones and we all have little things going on, but it's such an amazing group of women that we all support each other um, and we all rally when anything is needed. Um, and this is what happens when women get together, we rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Well, one of the things about Witches Night Out that I really enjoy is the shopping because I actually start my shopping in October for Christmas. There's a lot of crafters here and there's a lot of things and it's for sale today. You take it home with you. Um, you can purchase it on site. They have a variety of different food vendors, not food vendors, but food booths here that you can choose from to eat. Uh, and I love the selection this year because they actually have, if you're um, a vegetarian, they have fish. Um, if you have vegan, they have uh, vegetable sandwiches. They have uh, brats on the grill they got chicken breasts on oh, the grill yeah <laughs> it yeah. smells great <laughs> and they have appetizers um, inside they have a variety of different bars they have a witch's brew which I thought was really cool and uh, again you know the committee members work really hard and you know I'd like to thank all of them for all of their hard work and hopefully I'll be able to interview them tonight it's a amazing. couple it, it truly is amazing I mean you're definitely more organized than me I, I only go out there and shop for myself but <laughs> <laughs> that's okay too uh, but it's amazing. I mean, we have, and the thing is, you know, you see your work at the end, of, uh, you know, of the night, which is awesome, and um, we just look forward to next year. And we see the people sometimes that they come year after year. You get goosebumps because they they remember you and they all everyone thanks you, and it's just such a good energy in here. It's amazing, right? Yeah. It is amazing. And this year we're officially sold out. We were sold out two weeks ago. Uh, so we may have to look for a bigger venue because we're looking to grow this as big as it could possibly get. But well, we love we were, it here. We how, love how, it what here. were we up to this this year? Uh, 1,200 people sold out. That's pre-event. That's pre okay. Uh, so that doesn't count the people that uh, are purchasing tickets on site. So it's wow. pretty exciting. Wow, that's awesome. Well, so thank you very much and you enjoy yourself tonight. And thank, thank you, you for interviewing for Channel 6. Thank you. 
Well, good evening, everybody. This is Councilman Jan Quillman from the City of Joliet. Another wonderful night at Witch's Night Out. I have Mayor Oderkirk here with his lovely wife, Rebecca, and we're so happy that they could be here and share this evening with us. So, Mayor, give us a few comments. Well, Jan, thank you. Uh, congratulations to the uh, uh, people who put this on again. It's a big success. They sold over 1,300 tickets. It's a sellout. Um, it's so big, Jan. We have Eastern Avenue closed behind us to park the cars. So it's a beautiful night here at Jacob Henry Man. And I was glad to come out and support it. Well, thank you. Eastern tonight, Western next week. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, what do you think? I think it's a great event, great weather, and check out the venues down here. They they have awesome stuff down here. They really do. Well, we're so glad that you could make it. Our beautiful warlock, and, or no, excuse me, our handsome warlock and beautiful little witch here. Without incognito, they have somewhere else to go, but we're so glad that they could share this evening with us. Thank you. Hope you can make it next year in costume. <laughs> well, I'll work on it. <laughs> I just witched upon the fortune tellers and I ran into an old friend, Tawana. Tawana, tell me a little bit about, you've been coming to Witches Night Out for several years. Well, actually, from the beginning, what do you get out of seeing the fortune tellers? Oh, give you something to look forward to, to look toward, to thrive toward. Okay. Now, we were just discussing last year and you had said that the fortune teller that you're waiting for this year was dead on. Why don't you explain to me what you meant by dead on? She talked about some things that I only knew, so it helped to knock it home. You know, sometimes we know what we need to do and don't always follow through or whatever, so she gave me some insight on some things that I've been thinking about, contemplating. Okay. Well, playing. <laughs> well, I heard the same thing, you know, um, from uh, various people that have come over years, mm -hmm. that a couple of the fortune tellers, they want to keep on coming right back to them because they're giving them... She has oh. a line waiting. She's good. Farrah. Uh, <laughs> how, how much does she cost? $20, I think, for 15 minutes. Oh, wow. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Wow. She's good. So what is your other favorite thing to, it, to go to at Witches Night Out that you frequent? Shopping. I enjoy the shopping. I love the camaraderie of all the women and looking at the different costumes. It's just fun. I look forward to it. Matter of fact, I almost missed out this year. Because we're already at almost uh, 1384 Exactly. I ended up getting a call, having a ticket on car. Two weeks ago, I tried to get a ticket and they were sold out. Yeah. So I was like, oh my God, I got my t email, no, my text the other day saying there'll be a ticket, two tickets waiting. So I was so excited and so happy. I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. I look forward to this. It's for a great cause. So it's all good. I can't complain. Okay. The weather is beautiful. The ladies are all beautiful. We just, we have a good time. It's all good. Well, Tawana, I think that the fortune teller is almost ready for you. So you have a really good time and thank you. Thank you, Susie. It's always a blessing, dear. Thank you. Well, here we are with Kathy Mihalich, who is the brainchild of this whole event tonight. So, Kathy, tell us how it started and what you think of it and how it's grown. Well, actually, there were two of us. So I have to give my girlfriend, Judy Irwin, credit. She's the co-chair of this, but she's not here with us right now. But Judy's from Plainfield. I'm from Joliet. And we have a committee of 35 from everywhere in Will County. And it started because Judy and I did a little road trip six years ago or seven years ago. We went to a witch's night out, and I I said, I want to bring that to Joliet. And she said, well, okay, how could we do this? And I said, we'll do it, we'll do it. And we do it as a fundraiser. And the one that we attended was really a Chamber of Commerce event. And most of them around the United States are Chamber of Commerce events or retail events. But this one is the only one that I know of that's a fundraiser. And this one is, has the biz, biggest success. Absolutely. It brings people from all over Chicagoland, actually, to yes. Joliet to raise money for our wonderful charities. Yes. The charities are uh, Lambsfold Women's Center, Women's Shelter, the uh, Guardian Angel Community Services, Stepping Stones Treatment and Recovery Center, and uh, Will County Habitat for Humanity. You know, uh, the Habitat for Humanity, most of the homes that they build are for women. Absolutely. That's fun. And that's good. Yes. We're just talking about how women need to uplift women and support women yes, all over. Yes, absolutely. And we choose agencies that do just that. They have to help women become independent, gain their their um, self-esteem back, and you know just help them get back on their feet, especially those who have children. 
Well, Kathy, we appreciate you bringing this wonderful event to Joliet. And we moved from the Renaissance Center after four years where Miss Stockwell. Yes, and she's yes. a committee member. Susie is a committee it. member. And uh, Kathy, I would like you to go into uh, the total tickets sold. I mean, I know you don't know the tickets that were sold tonight, but what are the total tickets sold so far? We sold 1,300 tickets, which was really the occupancy Woo! of this event. Yes! <laughs> and so the agencies are really looking forward to their checks next week. <laughs> Yeah. But um, we're hoping that we'll also uh, get a lot of money from the raffle sales and the 50-50 this year, which is new. We just did a 50-50 this year for the first time. And, um, yeah, the generosity of all the women that are attending. Kathy, I want you so that the public understands that, you know, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. When, when Kathy first talked about this event, I was like, ah, you know, because I do events. Boy, did she prove me wrong. Yeah, <laughs> but I really I, want to do a witch-themed event. I go, yes, I do. Yeah, yeah she, well, I should have known. She did. Uh, exactly, right? <laughs> but I, I really want you to emphasize, Kathy, because I see you, you, you and, and all the hard work that you put into it, and, and people don't realize that it's not the mansion that's, like, doing all the decor and, and all the setup and everything. It's the committee members. You, you orchestrate all that. So go into the detail, What? how detailed it is. Well, the event planning takes 12 weeks. We start at the beginning of August and we only have 12 meetings. But this year we had 35 committee members and everybody had their own job. So we had a team that did solicited the raffle items, we had a team that solicited sponsors, a team that was in charge of decorating, and we split all split up and that's how we got the job done. But it's an incredible amount of work and we work really hard for 12 weeks. And that's also promotion. We have a marketing and promotion team, which I'm not sure we're going to need next year <laughs> because they did too good of a job this year. <laughs> and uh, we had 200 on the will call waiting list. Oh, wow. And I was so, and that's two, 200 calls, not how many tickets they wanted. Wow. So, yeah, that, that is really incredible. Wow. But, um, yeah, the, team, the committee has done a wonderful job. Most of the women are retired or working professionals. And uh, we meet on Thursday nights. And I don't know what else I can say. They've just been wonderful. But the community has been equally as wonderful. I mean, we ask, they deliver, you know. We have 25 raffle baskets this year. We've always had 12 before. Because everybody calls, I want to donate, I want to donate. And it's and so the community in, in Joliet and New Lenox and Frankfurt, it's spread. You know, we have um, donors from Shorewood. and So it's more of a Will County event because it's the United Way of Will County. And they service everybody. But Joliet is the star. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we. if it's fun, it's in downtown Joliet. And one thing that these charities can bank on, they will get their checks, unlike the state of Illinois. Right? <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. No, they'll get their checks from us in a week. That's because there are no, we, we have all of our expenses paid in advance, the little expenses that we have. And um, we don't keep any of the money. None of us are paid. That's right. They can take it to the bank. Well, thank you, Kathy, again for another wonderful, successful event. And the witches are just coming in from all over. Everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we had someone fly in here from London. Oh, I'm not kidding. The cackle. She <laughs> she's here somewhere. You'll have to find her. Okay, we'll find her from her London broom. All right. Actually, she's local. She's from local, but she planned her visit back home for this event. Excellent. <laughs> All right, Kathy, thank Thanks. you. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, here are some lovely witches ladies that are here to support this wonderful witches night out. So tell us where you're from. Joliet. New Lenox. Joliet. Joliet. All right, let's hear it for Joliet. What a wonderful Woo! event. Okay, <laughs> so how many years have you been coming? This is my first year. And? Two. Two? Two? Four, I think. Three? Four. Three or four? Four. four. What brings you ladies back every year to this event? Look, all the ass outfits, all the witches' costumes, and the bazaar, of course. We love to spend our husband's money. Absolutely! <laughs> spend that money! Girl power! Girl power! And how about you? Uh, this is my first time, so, so I'm just getting here. It's pretty crazy. I, I love the spider on her head right there. It's pretty nice. I like it a lot. I love the costumes. And the sangria. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I haven't had any yet, so as soon as we're done filming. <laughs> Well, ladies, thank you for supporting us yeah. and Witches Night Out, and hope to see you all next year. Yes, thank and you. more. Bring more.
Okay, I found some wonderful ladies here who uh, I had to wait till they finished their wonderful pumpkin donuts so that they would appear on television. But one brave lady is still eating, and her drink matches her donut, matches her costume, matches her hair. Yeah. So tell us where you're from. I'm from Plainfield, Illinois. And is this your first time? Yes, it is. And what do you think about it so far? I think it's great. Can you tell who we are? Can I tell who you are? Either the Witches of Eastwick or somebody I should know and I'm not recognizing. Hocus Pocus. We're from Hocus Pocus. Oh, Hocus Pocus. Hey, Medler. And you are? What is it? Who am I? You're Sarah. 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 Yeah. Okay, too many sangrias. Who am I? Yes, who am I? <laughs> Sarah. And where are you from, Sarah? Uh, from Shorewood. Okay, is your first time It here? is my first time, yes. All right, and you too? I'm Mary. I'm from Oswego. All right, Mary. Well, we saw you ladies over here sitting over here having a wonderful time by the fire. A beautiful night again. Thank you so for supporting Witches Night Out, and I hope you come back again. This is our sixth year. We absolutely will. It's yes. a lot of fun. And lot how of fun. are those drinks and uh, uh, donuts? Everything is good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again. Thank, thank you. you. Well, here I found a bunch of feathers. I'm making my way through them. Lovely outfits with these lovely ladies. And I know they've been here before. So tell us where you're from and how many times you've been to this event. This is the most marvelous event of all, my pretties. And this is my third time being here and would never miss it. And anyone that's not been here, come on board for next year. You want them to fly their brooms, don't you? <laughs> oh, honey, you better believe it. The night is not over yet. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I've been coming for the last two years here, but then I used to go to the ones where they used to have them before. And they're fun. All right. And they're for a good cause. So I hope everybody comes out more often. Same event, just a different venue. Right. It's our sixth year. And you might, this one here, I'm going to save you for last. We have Leopard Lady here, which I did one year, but not quite as decked out as that. I'm here because I get to do this. So, yes, I, I love to make costumes. I'm very theatrical, and this is why I like to come here. And it's a very good cause. So now we'll do the unveiling. Ready? Dun, dun, Check dun. this out. Hold still. Strike a pose. Strike a pose. Look at these peacock feathers. This is unbelievable. Turn around. So if you want a costume like that, you call this lady here. And do you have a business? We are the House of Fabulous. We do have a business. And where is it located? Joliet. Okay. We do venues. House of Fabulous right here in Joliet. So if you want a costume like that for maybe this year or next year, look them up on Facebook. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies, thank you for supporting our event, thank and thanks for coming. Gorgeous costumes, gorgeous. Okay, she's All right, well, this absolutely fabulous event is put on by just a, a few ladies. I believe it's 12 ladies or 30 ladies. We are up to, what was it? I think we're up to about 34, 35 ladies. Okay, so here are four, or three, excuse me, of the fabulous ladies that have put this wonderful event together, and I will turn over to Susie for introductions. Well, Judy Irwin is the founder with Kathy Mahalik, and uh, that we already interviewed Kathy, and Judy, I just want you to emphasize, uh, we already know where the donations are going, but I want you to emphasize exactly what you do and, and everything that you've done for this committee. Me personally? Yeah. All right. I am, aside from being co-chair, I'm also the vendor chair, so I organize all of these lovely people who are selling beautiful products. And um, their donation, their time, all goes to help our cause and brings in the ladies. We love to shop. <laughs> yes, we do. And it's women helping women. Remember that. Women helping win women. And Linda and I actually put signs up yesterday. She was the master of the sign putting up for all the sponsors. Linda, tell me a little bit about what you do for the committee. Uh, jack of all trades. A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah? A little bit of everything. Uh, ticket sales, sponsorship, decorating, taking down. A little bit of everything. There is very few jobs that people say no to. This is a wonderful committee, Absolutely. wonderful people, great friends, great friends. 
It is. I've been a bad committee member this year. I'm uh, just going to be honest. You know, I appreciate the other committee members that have done so much and worked their tail off to get everything done. And uh, I can't say enough about the community of Joliet and, and, and what, what they're featuring and what they're doing, women helping women, and the, and, and the donations that are coming. The, they'll be receiving the checks within a week. So that's one good thing. And again, it's women helping women, women that are in need uh, that were given back to the cause. So with that said, Judy, where do you think this is going to be next year? I hope it's back here because this is wonderful and the weather is blessed. Um, so I'm hoping it's back here. Good. Good. I know we're outgrowing because we're already at capacity this year. So if we can get up to 1,500, you know, we'll have to look for a new place. Where will we go? <laughs> That's the question, Jan. Where will we go? Well, we'll just have to do two nights. <laughs> There you go. Oh, you know what I would like to talk about, uh, Judy? There is something that we're doing new this year. Uh, they're having actually a, a, another uh, a banquet tomorrow. We are partnering up with the uh, Joliet Junior Women's Club, and they are having their Witch's Ball tomorrow night for their charities. And uh, they've helped us decorate, and they will be helping us undecorate. And we get to leave this wonderful stuff up for one more night and enjoy. So where is it going to be here? It will be here. It will be um, in the ballroom and I think in the gathering room there'll be a band. They've got raffles. They've got a door prize and I don't know everything else that they've got in store but it'll be wonderful. So it's the Joliet Women's Club? That is the Joliet Junior Women's Club. Okay. Okay. I understand. So it's getting bigger and better every year that we, we, we do this. This is a great cause. It's a great benefit. Uh, great committee members, you know, great sponsors such as Jan Quillman. She sponsored a DJ and some other things this evening. And I just want to thank everybody that participated and has done a great job. And we have our hard workers that do everything behind the scenes that people don't realize what they do. And if it weren't for them, this event would not take place. So with that said, what do you have to say? I also want to thank you, Way for partnering up with us as we are working through them as well. So they've been wonderful as well as so many of the other people. Wonderful. Thanks, ladies, for letting me interview you. And Jan, do you have something to say? Back to you. All right. Well, all I can say is after you've been watching this show tonight, and you can see what a wonderful time we're all having with all the costumes, the makeup, the shoes, the camaraderie. Come on out next year, support a charity, but also support women, supporting women with all these wonderful charities that this money will go to and they will get the check. Like I said earlier, not like the state of Illinois, and I'll probably pay for that comment. <laughs> but anyway, it's for a good cause, so come on out next year and have a good time. Well, we were walking around the bar area because Decorate's so cute, and we saw two first-timers here to this event. What do you think, Suze? Oh, my gosh. This is awesome. We have done this for six years, and we're growing bigger and better than ever. I'm a committee member, and uh, we also do Channel 6, Jan and I, so we want to know your opinion and what we can change and what you think about it. But first of all, how did you hear about it? Yeah. My friend's mom, Joanne. She's been coming and she said it was fabulous and we absolutely had to go. So we're here. All right. How about you? From her. <laughs> From my friend Andrea. But being the first time hearing about this event and actually being here, what do you think? What's your I think thought? it's fantastic and it's way overwhelming to see all the fabulous costumes and the beautiful decorations and everything. Yeah. And everyone's so happy and friendly and the grounds are beautiful. Every little detail, every room has pictures of the witches and just the decorating and it's just a fantastic experience. Yeah, it's great. It's a lot. But you know, it's also fun for us baby boomers who have always loved Halloween. You can't go trick or treating anymore, but it's a way to celebrate just a fun holiday, dress up and have a great time, but also for a good cause. Absolutely. So tell me, are you thinking about what you're going to wear next year? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm already thinking of a new hat. <laughs> You're going to have a hat decorating party, we think. We have all the ladies come together and decorate our hats and then have a bunch of people come here next year. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, I'm so glad that you all could come tonight. Thanks for supporting this wonderful Witches Night Out. And it's always a cause. Women helping women. This is what the cause is about. And we can't never let that go. Um, as a committee member, I will only say that 
to help women in Joliet that need help but don't want to admit that they need help, it means the world to me. Because for me, as a person, I'm a giver. <laughs> and everybody that that's who I am. And uh, I'm out to help any and everybody that needs help. And that's why I got on this committee. And it's great to see new women coming that's never been here before, that sees everything that we do. So we hope to see you next year. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for putting this together. Wonderful. Thank you. All right, so now we're in the gathering room where all these new ladies have gathered, where the DJs are playing, the ladies are dancing, and we found more and more new witches that have never been to this event before. So here to my right is... Hi, I'm Carrie Bazane. Jenny Adler. Christine Einhouse. All right, so you guys, how did you hear about this event? My mom. <laughs> That's mom. me. How many times have you been here? Five years. Uh-huh. Yes. I'm definitely not a virgin. And tell here. us who you are. <laughs> Patty Adler. All right. And? Dana Blatty. How long have you been here, Dana? Five years. Five years. We've been coming together for five years. five years. I'm going to scooch over here, around here, to this table. Hi, you are? I'm Ann Panzo Shryshun. Camera. <laughs> Proud retired teacher of Joliet Township High School Central Campus. Go Steelman. And All I've right. I've been here five years, five and my years. very dear friend Judy Irwin, who's on your He's committee, on committee. Yeah. right? She's also a member of my uh, teacher sorority. All right. She really talked it up. Well, so. thanks for coming. And you are? I'm Karen Tejan, and I'm from Mokina. This is my third year. Hi. All right. So we have veterans and we have newbies, and as you can see, all ages. People are just having so much fun, especially the ladies. The hats. Uh, just amazing the decor this one here all of them little baby hats Sue's take it over there well we have the newbies is what I call them not the versions the newbies that are coming so what what are your thoughts up for your first year it's way more over the top than I would have ever imagined it's so much fun it is I'm a committee member so I'm kind of um, yeah, big time. And what about you? Uh, I, the costumes are great, the food, the drinks, everything's good. So what did you have as far as the food? We had some bite, some appetizer things, some sandwiches, chicken sandwiches. It was all really good. Good stuff, huh? Yeah. And you? I shared the food with the, these guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sangria? Oh, the yeah. sangria is really good. Yeah. Yeah? Where did you get the sangria at? Uh, out at the little bar outside when we first came in. With the best bartender ever. That's right. You mean he was good looking? Well, it was my sister-in-law. <laughs> okay. She is good looking. She is, she's good looking. He was a good looking. She was good looking. Yeah. Well, thank you, everybody. And thank you for attending Witches Night Out. Next year is going to be bigger and better than ever. So please get your tickets at least six months ahead of time because we were sold out tonight. It's impossible to get to all the wonderful vendors that are here this evening, but we wanted to showcase Sandra Scholler's handmade witches, fairies, and I'll let her tell you what else she makes and how long it takes her to make these little, darling little things. Well, I make forest fairies, garden fairies, sugar plum fairies, snowflake fairies, and witches. And it takes me about, three, well, about 32 hours to make one. They're all handmade. They're just darling. I know you got a close-up of them before, but this is just some of what Witches Night offers for the ladies that like to shop and get some unique items for their, you know, birthday presents and Christmas gifts for people they don't know what to buy for. And so, do you have a business? I don't. I work out of my home. Do you have a website? I do. Okay. You want to give the folks at home a website so if they see this, they'd like to maybe contact you. It's Hawthorne Meadow slash Etsy. Well, that was easy. Yes. All right, Sandra. Well, thank you for coming out and supporting Witches Night Out. Okay, the music's playing. These guys were dancing. I see they have plenty of libations, so I'm going to have them introduce themselves and why they like this event. Hi, I'm Monica Bibian. This is my first night here, actually my first year here, and it's very exciting. So many witches. It's fun. 
I'm having a good time, and I'm sure they are too. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hi, my name is Teresa Valido. This is my first time, and I'm having an amazing time. <laughs> Stacy Cruz and I love the event because it supports women of all sorts. I, I'm, right that's why I'm here. I'm Melissa Brown and I'm loving the all-girl event. <laughs> Hello, I'm Magali Hernandez. First time here, I'm loving it. Well, you always say about women, supporting women, not only that, but all the money tonight again goes to women's charities, Lambs Fold, Habitat for Humanity, and uh, Corners, not Cornerstone, excuse me, Stepping Stones. Yes, yes, and Lambs Fold. All great groups to support women. Thank you for coming, and I see you guys are having a great time out there dancing. Monica, you rock. You all rock. So go fill up your um, libations and cast your spells around the cauldrons. I want to say thank you, Ward, for being out here at Channel 6. Thank you for always supporting our local events. She stole my line, but that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad other people want to support Ward, too. Thank you, Ward. Well, things are starting to wind down, or should I say wind up, because everybody's still dancing outside here. We're getting ready to do the costume and hat contest on the inside. It's been a wonderful evening, and hope you all can come next year, because Witch's Night Out is like nothing else you've ever been to. And we would hope to see you next year, and all I can say is it's time to fly away. Thank you.